everybody, it's Greener, and I have a special young lady here. This is my niece, Sweetie CC. She has long hair, sort of, not, not, not as long as mine. You know the mess we've gone through with this one. Okay, guys, just horrible day. We're not going to go through that. Okay, no, it's traumatic. Ugh. See what you do to me. No. I'm going to show Sweetie two different ways to do creative bobby pins. But first, do you know what they call bobby pins in England? No, I do not. They call them grips. So, for all of you English people out there that I know are watching, we're going to use grips. Or, for us Americans, because we just have to be backwards, we're going to use some bobby pins. And I got some hair color close to hers, which is, she's got blonde highlights, if you guys can see. She's got some brown, but the blonde is going to be the one that's going to hide the most. So I got her some blonde. Hey, not good, 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 have a good day. And of course, my hair is brown red when I wash it because it's not washed. Please don't look. Thank you. Anyway, so I'm going to show her how to do this. Now, the next thing we're going to need is scissors, of course, spools of ribbon, and then I got specially made, um, pre made little bows that I'm going to show her just how to attach to a bobby pin. And we have three different types of colors here. Okay. Now, she does purple. She loves purple. That's why I got the purple here. However, I could not in these packages find purple hair bows. So, sorry. <laughs> However, okay. was there pink? No. <laughs> I Are even looked for blue. blue. No, they did not <laughs> okay. have pink. I even looked for blue. I debated on getting her some leopard, but I didn't think her mama would care for a 16-year-old having a leopard, okay? So, we're going to show you how to do this. These were 99 cents, okay? And these were like less than $1.50. See how cheap this is? The most expensive was for a spool of 24 feet at one and an eighth inch was $1.99. This was the most expensive and I got four of them. You better love me a lot. <laughs> so, I now that you know what we're going to need, we're just gonna move right into the tutorial. So first thing, pick the color you wanna work with. Not that, once, these, oh. Yeah, these, first, <laughs> you wanna do white. Okay, well there's white still open here. Okay. <laughs> I'm going to open the white because I'm going to show her how to do this. Okay. You take a bobby pin or a grip. Okay. All right. Now you find the back, which should have some stitching at the back here. Find the back. Okay. Okay. And you want the flat side of your bobby pin or grip to be closest to your bow. So you want the rigiding to be on the outside. So you just kind of slide it in, and trust me, sometimes it works. Sometimes you're pain in the butt, and they don't work. Oh, did you get yours? Mm -hmm. Pain in the butt. <laughs> yeah, see, it always happens to me. <laughs> oh, I got mine, okay? Now it should look like this, okay? Where the bobby pin's on the back, and the grips are out. Now when putting them in, if you put them into a bow, you can't have it like this. So you can turn these quite handily. <coughs> like that. As you can see, Miss Sierra had to do one of mine because I just was stupid, couldn't do it. You know, that spit thing just kicked in and just went, gurr, gurr. Anyway, so this is bows. I'm going to show you exactly how to use these in Miss Sierra's here. Which side? That this side. Okay. So what you want to do with these is take a little bit of her. Okay, start it, kid. Stop that. You want to take a little bit of her hair, like this, like all of her braid, bangs slash fringe. I twist mine up. Sorry, you're gonna have anti spittle in your hair, and then you can just. See, it only wants you to... And there, she has kind of a little bow in her hair. 
Doesn't she look, look so cute for five years old when she's really 16? So that's how you wear those. They really like you. <laughs> hey, look, I got a pound of hair, too. <laughs> See what I do to you? That's hard, sir. So you can have all different kinds of colors and stuff like that. Just put them on bobby pins. And that's how you can dress up a bobby pin. And you can dress up one, okay, put it in your hair, and then you can lock it with another bobby pin to keep your hair all up, like normal teenagers do. But it just gives you a little flair. And you don't <coughs> have to do two, you can do one. Excuse me, coffee time. Sorry, coffee time, we all know me. Mm. I'm low at quarter caffeine, okay? Okay. <laughs> so, I'm going to let her take some black and some red with her. Um, the other four red are mine because I got a wedding to go to this sometime next month. It is still June, right? Yeah, next month. <laughs> so I'm going to put brush these aside and we're going to work with these ones now. Okay? All right. Now I'm going to move mine off. We're going to work with Miss Sierra's. Get your color that you want. Of course, purple, I should have known. <laughs> okay? So then you find the end. Yeah, Melissa's like, ooh. <laughs> Got it on first try. <laughs> Why am I gonna stick over here? Put that on you. <laughs> She's gonna rip. Don't embarrass me. Okay, you don't need a whole lot of the ribbon. And this is kind of sheer, which is gonna go real nice in her hair. You take a grip or a bobby pin. Excuse the cats, they're fighting. Okay, and you want to do about I would say six inches to give you some room to tie there's two ways to tie this okay one you can make a bow however in my long hair it looks better if you tie a knot hide the knot underneath your bow and just the streamers come out so we're going to tie a knot first and we'll do uh, we'll do sets for you later slide it in between the two sides of the bobby pin like this, so it's hanging down, okay? And then of course you just do a regular knot, try to get it as even as possible, and everybody knows that that's not real even with me. Okay? And I'm all thumbs. Right? Mm -hmm. Always all thumbs. I was born with all thumbs. I like to double knot mine to make it stay. Okay? Now, and how you wear this, again, you can wear this any way you want. However, for the first couple of times, if you want it hanging straight out and not all everywhere like, like normal, <coughs> you pinch at the knot quite, quite tight and see how it just kind of starts to warm straight down. See? See everybody? Okay, then put it in your hair. Okay. You put it in your hair. Okay. <laughs> Let's see if she can do better than me. <laughs> Not the last time, it was a disaster. <laughs> She's all, well, this is that was too bad. I took a pound of hair. It's actually just three strands, but she's not gonna miss them. Okay. See? So now she has just like a little thing, and you can use this and you can make them longer if you want them longer. You can actually put, you know, put beads on here, tie a knot in the end, you know, make sure the bead stays there and you can have beads hanging down. Just something to dress up your hair so that um, you're not totally plain Jane. But also you just have a little accessory, you know, a little pizzazz. And this goes really well with people or children or whatever that has to wear uniforms. In England, you can get by with something like this, maybe, depending on your school. Don't call me on that because you ain't gonna get me in trouble, no. However, Cece here does not have a normal dress code as a uniform. She has a dress code, you can't wear anything sleazy, skanky, low cut, right? Mm -hmm. So, but they can wear makeup, they can wear um, hair accessories and stuff like that. As, But in England, kids cannot wear makeup. Did you know that? High school kids cannot wear makeup. It is not allowed. 
I don't know why. When I find a teenager that's in the, in the UK, please talk, let me know how, why that is. So there's one. Do you want a bow? Uh, yes. Okay. Bows are a bit different. Okay. Bows, I say for a rule of thumb, about 10 inches long for your strip. <coughs> I'm all thumbs. You can cut off. You just can't put back on. So, so roughly 10 inches. Miss Cece, please hold this just like that. This does involve two hands or, or four hands in my case. I would probably have to be at home using my feet and my hands. Good, get a scruffy to do this. Oh, heck no. Okay. Like I'm doing this part. Just thread through like a needle. Again, make sure you. Ow! Cat. <laughs> Sorry, kitty was again nailing me. That didn't sound right. <laughs> Typical teenagers, got to ride in the gutter. Okay, so you just put a knot in it, okay? And then you get your hands, fat fingers in there and you tie a bow around the tree. Where the heck is the hole? Okay, my bunny doesn't want to go through the hole. Stop shaking! Dude. I forgot how to tie a shoe. <laughs> I wear flip flops all the time. Okay, I'll hold you tie. Okay, thank you. See, I can't tie a shoe. This is exactly why I don't wear top shoes ever. Ask her mom. I wear flip flops through the winter. Well, look at you, smarty pants. Okay, and it's just a simple bow. It's not nothing fancy. If you don't like the ends, you can trim them however long you want. Want to put that in your hair too? Mm -hmm. Okay. Hey, she, she's willing to be a guinea pig. Why not? She's all like. <sighs> the holding on to it would be good, <laughs> huh? <laughs> It's just a little bow. Of course, if she had a mirror, she'd probably flatten down a little bumpy here. So, excuse me while I tug on her hair. I just want to be a mean aunt. But that is how you use little bows. And it's just easy, simple, fast, and you can change these out. If you don't want to wear purple all the time, or you don't, you only have like, say, I know that one of my daughters, um, my oldest daughter, you know who I'm talking about. Uh, she only has like 10 bobby pins. So she has to change out the ribbons. Okay, so that's why I just go, and you can find these on sale sometimes and get the ribbons, okay? And just change them out. And they're fast, simple, quick. She can do, if she's going to, say like she's gonna to go to a formal dance, she could use a lot of these in a bun formation, or she can slip these into a French braid back where you, French, I can't French braid. Her mama does, not me. Oh, can't do it. Don't let me tell you. I've tried. But you can French braid it down and then just slip the little bows in all the way down the French braid. Something, something like that. I cannot French braid, so you will never know how to French braid for me. I can't do the mermaid braid, can't do the French braid, can't do the water braid. I can do the braid braids. The milk braids. Do you know what they call braids in England? No, I do not. Flat. You don't braid, you plait or plaiting. That's a funny name, huh? Yeah. Say it. Plait. Plaiting. Plaiting. The only plaiting we do is in math, and that's plotting. That's it. So, if you like what we have done, come on back, because I'm going to show you next how to do alligator clips with the same techniques. See you next week, guys. Thumbs up if you like it. Uh, leave a comment down below if you have some other interesting ideas. Please, I love to hear your comments. And if you're not subscribed, and why wouldn't you be? Go ahead and hit that subscribe button and see what we do next week. And I'll show you how to use an alligator clip. Bye! Bye! Hi everybody, it's Greener Ford again, and I'm here with... Sweet CC. <coughs> see, every time I go to record, I gotta bark. <laughs> We're going to show you how to put 
pre-made bows on alligator clips for a cute different type of clip just to kind of slide into Miss Cece's hair over here. So what you're going to need are pre-made clips or pre-made pre-made clips. Yeah, I'd like to see somebody do that. I'm sure somebody does, but I can't do it. Uh, pre-made bows because I'm lazy. Uh, you're going to need alligator clips, and this is why they're called alligator clips. They look like a little alligator. Tom, Tom, Tom. Yes, I play with every day. And you're going to need some really strong E6000. I got mine at uh, Hobby Lobby. I got everything at a Hobby Lobby. These were, uh, I'm going to cheat, $3.99 for 25 pieces. And these were $0.99 cents a piece. So, what we do is... Get out the glue, and please don't stick yourself, me, or anything else to the table, okay? Thank you. <laughs> Your mom's gonna kill us. <laughs> and if you stick yourself to me, dude, you're going home with me, okay? Okay. <clears throat> yeah. And the reason these are pre-made is, and I picked them up, is because they have like a little gem right here, and the polka dotted stuff. So, Miss Sierra, I don't trust you. I don't trust myself. <laughs> okay, there's little edges on the alligator clip that are right here. Now, the first thing you want to do is, you're going to slide it in this way. I, I'm going to probably put the bow on here, but you need to figure out if you're going to put the bow this way or this way. What do you want? This way? Mm -hmm. Okay. So, if Aunt won't hold that, <laughs> look at the blue on you. Phew! It's sputtering at us. Put the top on, put the top on, put the top on. Ooh, ooh. Okay, just fit the bow right towards the end. Just like that. Hold, hopefully you didn't. And we wait. Dee, 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 dee. Okay, and then you just kind of like let it dry. Put your finger on that. And that is how you make a simple decorative bow into an alligator clip. If you like what we've done here, come on back. We'll see you later. Give us a thumbs up. God, we have that famous pose. <laughs> And if you have ideas for doing more alligator clips, please leave a comment down below somewhere. Yeah. And we'll see you next week. Bye. Bye.